All right, so, sorry about that. Um, we are Instant Act, so we had a couple of chats yesterday with the guys um, who are over from the East Coast. Um, thank you very much for your input. Um, we were talking with them about what are what are the requirements that a uh, first, uh, first responder has, whether that be a policeman, whether that be fire. Um, some of the issues they have is just being in contact with each other in the field, uh, knowing where they are in the field, um, knowing who can get to a potential disaster uh, more quickly. So taking that into account, we also talked about what technology is there. So they, they said it, they have these radios, they're going out of date. Um, we felt that basing a new technology on a single company or the, the companies who make specific devices for police and emergency services was not the way forward. We feel the way forward actually for these emergency services is to base things on consumer grade hardware, iPhones, Android phones, stuff that's out there already. Thank you. <laughs> Bring down the cost of things. Don't don't give it to monopolies. Put it out there on some sort of open platform. That's why we, we built a web-based app, um, uh, which I'll show you now in a minute. So uh, we had a couple of couple of uh, teething problems with uh, with the integration, but what we wanted to show you guys here was um, the notion of a an app that has two users. So I'll just briefly show you the URL here. You'll see that that is one HTML file, um, so it's HTML based. You'll see that that is another HTML file, and uh, we kind of uh, spend a lot of time trying to get this working. But uh, the idea being that if one person on one app uh, can report uh, a disaster, so a fire or say a car crash, that, that will come up on the other on the other screen. Or uh, shots being fired, there's a robbery in Palo Alto. Um, I was asking the guys, could we not just dynamically change our location to the city east of here for that one? But um, they said that wouldn't be very funny, so I said I promised I wouldn't make that joke. Um, but I did. So, <laughs> Sorry, local joke. So that's um, that's that's what we wanted to show. The other, so that's it, it, it's browser based. That's why I'm showing it in the browser. We also had it here. Um, so demoing it on an iPhone. Um, idea being an officer is out in the field. He has he has this 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 phone with him. Uh, what we also wanted to build in was okay. So they have radios. The radios have a limited limited range. We could move to um, mission critical voice based LTE communication. That's great. It has some drawbacks. What happens if the network's down? Um, not something we can pack together on the weekend, but there are technologies out there and in development where you can plug into a phone, plug into the 3.5 millimeter jack, and actually send uh, send those messages over over uh, analog. So we said, right, let's base the app, let's use the technology we have today, let's base the app on communication that's there, LTE, high speed voice. If that doesn't work, we can always fall back to what we have today. Worst case scenario, officers have what they have today. So we we built in a push to talk uh, notion. So when you start the app, you're going to hear it your main screen. Um, a report, uh, an officer can report an incident, um, but he also has this bar down, down below. You can go in ahead and uh, report that incident. He also has this bar here where you can talk to his buddies. And this is where we brought in the AT&T Speech API. We said, all right, officers can use the app. They can push to talk. They can send a message, uh, voice message to their other colleagues. But what happens for somebody who comes later to the game? What happens for somebody who doesn't hear it? It should have some sort of text based uh, uh, history going on there. So I could go, we have a man down. And that will process and then it will uh, come up on the screen as you see below here. Um, the idea being to, to bring in a history based of, uh, of things there. Um, all the other officers will hear that audio message on their, on their phones as well. And um, just in general, be able to see each other on the map, moving map. So we don't have enough devices to, to demo uh, lots of lots of different people around. Um, but you can use your imagination. Other other developments we talked about um, that we didn't have time to do this weekend: integration with the SMS API. So what happens if the LTE goes down? What happens if there's no data? However, we could take these voice commands. We could take the um, whatever people put in there, whatever people say. We could send it via SMS. So that we're not relying on data. We could rely on the standard GSM network. Um, what apps? What, what technology we use? We have we had Appery to build some of the some of the user interfaces based on jQuery Mobile ATT Speech. I covered uh, PeerJS was what you what you see that is allowing us to talk from from one client to another. Um, some really cool APIs in there. Um, I yeah we wanted we we wanted to look at as well as some of the some of the things that are in social apps right now. So another another development of this is 
Uh, what you see here is a, a history of what's been going on. You can write in a message, you can send a message. What we want to also do, and get time to do with adding images, uh, we also want to add an image of something going on, send its location. This is all theoretically possible. Yes, oh yeah, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, organization based on incidents. Um, so not say, hey, I can send out a message to all officers, rather we can dynamically create based on an incident, um, one incident file, we say, all right, we're going to add officers based on this incident, so that any communication that goes to them doesn't go to your whole team, it goes to the ones who are reacting on that incident. Um, when that incident's closed, uh, you're starting out from scratch with a different incident. Uh, just the ability to add, add buddies in there. Um, this is an idea of how it would look on the map. Thank you. So like there's a fire. How do you how do you become part of that group communication? Um, the idea the idea would be that all officers would have this on their smartphone. Either they own a personal iPhone, or yeah. if someone doesn't, their 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 boss gives them one, or it would also work on their iPhone. They have this app going around. It would hopefully replace the radio if they have uh, a strong enough signal, and that network is being built around the country. Um, that officers are on this app all the time, that they can use it to 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 replace existing levels of communication, but have a hardware cell fallback so that analog messages could be sent also. So like something pops up and it says there's a fire like 206 homework, and if people can tag into that, they form a group communication underneath it, is that it? Um, it's not so much that they tag in, it's like, um, so you can imagine one of these screens being the back office uh, being dispatched, that's why we have these two these two buttons here, so one is, uh, oh, go away, uh, one is the dispatch buttons talk to, talk to the team, the other is the uh, buttons to talk back to dispatch, so if you actually need assistance from your office, you're not like sending SMSs back or trying to, trying to look up data on your phone, you can just uh, call into dispatch, say, I need, uh, I need to run a license plate now, or I just spotted a, a runaway car right here and get things into the arrest. Then he, go, he does it by voice, as he does today, but does it over the phone, he goes about his business, dispatch can go and organize that, and dispatch can organize the team and have members of that incident. Right on. Uh, at 30, Barricode, let's see you. No, but I'd like to get it. Yeah. Right. So All right, let's see you later, man. But you guys have to wear these on the way back. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, right. we, we, did send, we did send it on to Barricode as well. Well, yeah, the, the browser uh, basically, they're going to send us the IPA as well. Yeah. Okay, so I think the iPhone source. So Luke has to wear all four is the sacrificial 